All right, this is what you first get when you start up uh, after the update is updated and it restarts the TV. It says, Welcome to Internet TV powered by Google TV. Congratulations, your TV just got smarter. Let's take a quick tour. Hit the next button. The home key gives you quick access to applications and notifications no matter where you are on your Internet TV. Android Market has arrived. Launch it from the home and make your TV what you want it to be. TV and movies is a new way to find out what's available on TV and the web in all in one place. Press the search key to find TV shows, TV channels, websites, and much more. Press the menu key and reveal any available options. Try it in Home or Google Chrome to see what's under the hood. Okay, here's Google TV with Android. Um, first thing I like to show you is the remote uh, on the Sony Google TV. Uh, it consists of a full keyboard with numbers and media controls. It also has two of these discs here. Uh, one has an optical remote, has a home button, a picture-in-picture, -picture, a menu button, and a go back button. Channel up and down, volume up and down, a disc with left, right, up and down, and select. Also, you have a search button down at the bottom to open up universal search from anywhere. Uh, it's very nice remote, nice, fits in the hand nicely. So, let's continue. Um, the first thing you get is in the home screen is a nice digital clock and notifications, which will notify you that an app is installed or in the future notify you if you have a phone call or text message or what have you. Uh, also you have all your apps uh, that you that came with the Google TV and also ones that you installed in the app draw uh, which I'll tell you a little bit more about how to get some apps that are not on um, in the app market or installed on your TV. Uh, basically I'm using Google Plus uh, it's a bookmark that's saved to my app straw or saved to my home screen. Uh, HBO Go uh, is there, but it's in Spotlight, uh, Sony Spotlight, and I moved it over to this screen. And also, you got Max Go, which is not in the App Store or anywhere, uh, but I saved it. Movie Land, I own uh, a membership to Movie Land where you can watch movies that are still in the theaters, and Facebook, and. Um, uh, basically all of these apps are uh, slacker uh, there's no slacker app so that's a bookmark from Chrome uh, Pandora we have an app for uh, and basically these are all your apps uh, you saw Hulu in there but Hulu is not working it gives you an error message anyway um, we also have uh, live TV which uh, you can connect right into your live TV uh, you have a, a, a sort of like a movie store uh, for TV shows and movies and it also spotlights your movies that are on your cable co provider uh, Netflix, YouTube, App Market, uh, Google, Chrome and Search uh, I'm not going to get into every one of these apps only because it's going to take forever uh, but I will tell you that each app when you open it you can access uh, the menu uh, and change and configure and add passwords and auto save works uh, auto save passwords works on uh, this new operating system which is nice because I always have to type it in all over again uh, but uh, you know if we go to the TV and movie um, you could see what's on TV and shows that you can rent and watch uh, but you can play around with that and Netflix uh, has a new uh, look to it so does YouTube and it makes it easy. You can sign into both of these auto save. Market, uh, there's not much going on with the market. Maybe there's a hundred apps. Uh, a lot of them, some of them are new. A lot of them are new, but a lot of them are the old apps that you used to have. Uh, you can view all the apps uh, optimized for this TV and pretty much, you know, go through each one and figure out what you want. Uh, I only installed one app. Uh, just to see how how it loads and it you know loaded up nice it saved it in the queue and then loaded up and gave me a notification 
uh, you have clock and you can check out all your downloads go right to Google Chrome as a full browser and basically that's pretty much it um, it's a nice little feature and let me show you how you can open up settings like in different things like say for instance you're in uh, you're in apps you can hit the menu and you can customize your home items you can home and all other uh, all app settings and then your system settings uh, by the way system settings uh, you see that the um, storage uh, you only have eight gigs on this Google TV uh, but you can you can hook up external drives uh, which is nice uh, sort of like a SIM card but uh, more like a uh, hard drive external hard drive and you could change the picture and you know what network you set up to and all that stuff okay so if you go into say for instance you're watching TV and at any time you can hit the Chrome search and when you type in something like say ham and you hit enter uh, you'll get the results in Google search uh, ham and cheese it's a movie uh, that's in the um, music and uh, movie and TV store and you can see content that has the word ham in YouTube uh, so basically it's a nice way to search TV uh, what's on and uh, figure out you know what's what's uh, interesting to you and uh, I like to hear a little bit more about what you guys think when you get yours uh, this is only available on Sony TVs uh, but hopefully everybody gets it soon and thank you